uh, that he would get this message and this stuff and the feeling that he's getting from God and Jesus is real. And uh, I think you need to, to listen to this kid and understand and accept the fact that th things are a little bit more uh, simpler than we make them as people. And if I have time, I'll throw some newer videos or some more subs, pictures in at the end of these massive ships causing uh, climate chaos all over the world. All right, so this is the chief here, guys, on November 20th, Monday. Um, and uh, like I said, the first video will be the, the spaceship booing toxic gases caught on camera. All right, so I don't want to hear any more bullshit that these things aren't here and they're not doing these fucking things that we're talking about because they are creating pandemonium, evil, fake weather, stress. I mean, the whole thing is... The whole nine yards, man. I mean, this whole thing is depopulation and what it really is in a, in a nutshell, if you want to call it that. So we'll, we're going to go ahead and look at this video here first about the spaceship. And then I want you to listen to this young man break it down and talk about Jesus and God and how simple the fact is that Jesus is coming and that all you need to do is accept him, guys. God bless us all. Have a good day. Nutshell here, Allison Chance. during um, spacewalks outside the International Space Station. We can see air bubbles rising up. Can you touch on how there are air bubbles in space? Um, air, can you be more specific, air bubbles? So yeah, like a lot of times during the footage, the NASA footage, you can see bubbles coming up out of the helmets or kind of from underneath you. Um, how do you explain bubbles in space? Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. You might, there's, now sometimes you get water in the helmet and it comes, it's either, it's either uh, you know, from sweat or from the cooling garments, and, um... Hey, I'm sorry, sir. Let me be more specific. Uh, why the fuck are you doing it in water and bubbles are coming out? Huh? Why are you faking space? Let me be more specific then. Uh, can you answer that, Buck Rogers? Huh? You know, on some of my spacewalks, I had, like, water in the helmet. Not like I was going to drown in the helmet, but just little bits of water probably came from uh, sweat. Often, um on the outside of the space station, you'll liberate little pieces of, um, you know, it's a really harsh environment out there and the outside of the space station gets beat up pretty good. And sometimes, you know, you'll see just little flecks of paint or something that you might have disrupted floating away from the suit. And, uh, <laughs> Could it, could it be that you're filming in an underwater pool and you're not really out there? <laughs> I just encourage everyone to look up Bubbles in Space, hashtag Bubbles in Space. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got him free. Hi everybody, this is my little boy. And he told me that he had a dream last night or this morning, actually, and he would just like to share it with you. Okay, go ahead, babe. Uh, I just wanted to talk to y'all about a dream I had. First of all, hi, mom's friends. <laughs> <laughs> or her community on YouTube or whatever. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about a dream I had. Um, I had a dream last night or it was more in the morning like because I was about to wake up like I was I woke up in the middle of the dream so I guess it was technically the morning so um I had a dream where like we were all like well bleh, I'm sorry all of my okay. friends I'm nervous <laughs> Don't think it's 
all of my friends were playing outside and we were having a lot of fun and or, or something i was at nana's house or nana's my grandmother's grandfather's and grandmother's house or something me and carson were playing and papa or something i don't know but it i don't remember most of the dream but i remember the important parts and me i just felt like jesus was coming back today or i mean that day in the dream um not today today i wish <laughs> maybe. but maybe <laughs> maybe as soon as we post this on youtube yeah i'm good with that <laughs> and <laughs> so anyway you felt like you, in the dream you're feeling like today's the day every yeah, day you felt like today's yeah, the like day yeah like all of the christians like we okay. just felt like today was the day and like we were just playing outside and my grandparents don't believe in Jesus or God, unfortunately, but um, I was with them. We always pray about them, and if you could please pray that they will get saved because we love them very much. And um, um, uh, we were in the dream where we were all outside, and we felt like today was the day, and all of a sudden we heard a trumpet and the trumpet like there was a trumpet going off and then like I woke up after that part but it just got me so excited and I know that he is coming back soon and I'm just so excited I can't wait until his return and if you don't know God and Jesus you need to get right with him because he is coming back soon he is i know that much for sure and he loves you and cares about you and for those of you who don't believe in him he does love you and he loves everyone in this earth he created man he created this earth and he created it for you and me not just like for him he made it for you and the reason why there's pain on this earth, it's not because of him. Everyone thinks it's because of him, it's not. Or a lot of people, I mean, people that don't believe in him think it's his fault, but it's not. It's the devil's fault. And you go and look at these people with perfect life, you wanna know why they have a perfect life? Because the devil isn't bothering them because he knows he already has those people that, uh, he already knows he has those people, so he doesn't bother them because he knows that they don't believe in God and Jesus, so he's not bothering them. But the reason why for you, the people who do believe in God have it bad and like they have, uh, like they fight and all of that all the time, it's because the devil is trying to get them, so he has them it's not because of god it's because devil is trying to get you and you can't let him you need to rebuke him in jesus name oh he god. cannot harm you if you rebuke him Amen. so when you're having a hard time and you think about those people that have it like perfect they have so much money and ooh, look at them, they're so good. It's because the devil has them. And wow, when you go through this stuff in life that the devil has put you through, you will be rewarded. The, you can't, we can't even imagine what will be in heaven when ever you die. And you believe in God and Jesus you we can't even imagine what will be waiting for those of you who stick with him in life I know it's hard and you can't see it right now and you're like what but it is true so please get right with God and get right with Jesus because he does love you he loves you very much